A movie starring Sir Anthony Hopkins, how can this go wrong? Keep in mind, he is still the guy from Free Jack. The Rite. The Rite is the story of this young guy who's about to become an ordained priest. He kind of had shaky faith to begin with, so he thought, okay, I'm gonna go into seminary school, then if I'm not feeling it after four years, right before I get ordained, just drop out. Which is pretty much the point he's ended up at. So his main priest teacher is like, okay, you have shaky faith, all right, go to the Vatican, learn to become an exorcist. I guess he thought, all right, you'll either be scared straight, or I'm throwing a defenseless lamb to the slaughter and you'll just die. This main guy, I've never seen this guy before in my entire life. I have no idea where they found him. Probably the same arcade they found Eddie for a long. He kind of looks like Peter Petrelli and Jake Gyllenhaal's love child. And for my money, they have made the most relatable character in recent cinema. And I'll tell you why. Because for the first hour and a half in this movie, this guy's just like, I hate this. I don't even want to see this right now. This is stupid. I want to go home. And for the first hour and a half in this movie, you're also like, I hate this. I don't even want to see this right now. This is stupid. I want to go home. And there you go. Relatable. For me, this is my problem with the guy. He's just so blah all the time. He has no personality. He's just what I call blah. He's like Selma Blair on Downers. He's just like, Father, we need some answers. Man, I know you have a crisis of faith going on right now, but how about this? Make a command decision. Either become a Christian or an atheist. Whatever you do, get a little bit of personality. No side will hate you for that. And Anthony Hopkins is in it, and the guy is a good actor. He plays the role really well. He's this unorthodox exorcist priest mentor type, but even though he played his character well, his character was still, he came across as like he just doesn't give a shit. He's just like, all right, yeah, yeah, you're blessed. Okay, whatever, all right, peace out, all right, well. See you next Tuesday, because this exorcism isn't done, because that's how they roll. I mean, between Keanu 2.0 and Father O, I don't give a shit. You just don't give a shit. The movie's two hours long, and in the last 20 minutes of the movie, it finally picks up, and you get to see all the cool exorcism shit that you came to see. You can YouTube any exorcism, and you don't have to sit through the hour and a half of bullshit to get there. So Anthony Hopkins, good actor, main character, no idea. I don't know who he is. Who is he? Can you tell me? But the movie itself, boring. It was just really boring. So in that, I'm not even gonna be nice about it. See, either dog shit or bullshit. What's the difference? Not sure. But I like bullshit. So this movie is bullshit. Not gonna lie, not a solid week for you guys. However, on my channel, you have nearly 200 videos that make for hours upon hours entertainment. Shameless self-promoting? Yeah, but I do what I can. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Right after this picture of Aaron, who recognized me in Seattle. That was really cool. That was badass.